um, Top Rank and ESPN, they're, they're drunk with giddiness. All right. <laughs> to say the least. Uh, to say the least. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and... and <laughs> Uh, and so and they are and and deservingly but uh not so fast before you go and say i know the one that they're gonna go for they they have a rematch i don't know if you knew this but yeah. they have a rematch clause they got it before the fight and and they each had it they yeah. had 30 days to activate it no matter they who got lost it, and they're gonna activate it right away and they had a 50 50 split in this fight 60 40 whoever wins 60 40 to the winner in the rematch and there's somewhere around the neighborhood of 50 million dollars they made it was not that bad and <laughs> and then but wild is gonna enact his people i don't know if he's so quick to want to do it maybe but his people i think have already put a statement out where we're in shelly finkel we're, uh, he said yeah. they're gonna do it yeah we're we're in uh, you know he's taking a lot of punches in his life right <laughs> i mean i'm, I'm there I am being mean. I'm, I, I'm being mean. I learned it from, I can't blame other people. And so he he's going to enact, they're, they're going to enact on his part, I guess. And maybe it's from him too. Um, you would hope so. The rematch clause. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you get it. You get it that Aaron wants control. They, they, they're on the throne just like he went in on the throne. They really are on the throne. And, and they got, they control they they control a big part of the heavyweight title right now. They're on top of the world. They're the boss man. They're in position. Oh boy, oh boy. You know they they they're the they're the guy. They're the boss. And so you figure, okay, they're gonna they're gonna control all aspects of it now, and they're gonna do that. But there's a guy named Joshua out there, where he was putting. 90,000 fannies in the seats at Wembley Stadium fighting the doormen <laughs> at the King's Arms <laughs> restaurants. You know? Yep. Where they, I we talked about this earlier. Over there, across the pond where my, my brother's over there, you know, I love the cheeseburgers with the egg on top. <laughs> it's really, it, it, I like it. It's a nice, it's really, it's a nice touch. <laughs> it really is. And they, if he could put 90,000 fannies into Wembley Stadium fighting guys that are, you know, basically delivering you those cheeseburgers with the eggs on top, can you imagine, all I got, can you imagine what this fight would do? I got one thing. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Again, they're going to have to build another stadium. I mean, forget about Wild. And I'm not trying to. I'm being business like. I'm being honest. It, it, yeah, it'd, it'd be interesting in a trilogy. I get it. I get it. Even though, in some ways, it wasn't a great fight. Again, it was one sided. It was a beat down. There was sloppiness, but it was great because of everything else. Mm-hmm. Because of the drama, very much, all that. But what I'm saying is that, as much as those people on that side of the ledger, top rank and ESPN, and they they got the right to say it. That that's the fight. No, no, no. If you're really looking at the biggest possible fight, and it might be the biggest fight in the history of this sport, as far as money, at least. Yeah. As far as and 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 with social media and everything else that's there now, that wasn't there when Ali fought F- Frazier, you know, for the fight of the century. When you think about all that, this fight is gonna. It's, uh, can you imagine? Joshua and Fury with their connections from over there, from across the pond. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And with the with the personality of Fury, and, and you know, the last we saw him, he was going in as the king, and now he's the king. Uh, can can you imagine? I mean, this is this is the same. He's got the same effect as Conor McGregor has in the UFC. Yep. He makes everything bigger. Hey, and now he's justified it. Now he's validated it. He's legitimized it. You know, he's done it. Forget it. That fight, I, I don't care how you talk about it uh, until the cows go home. The cows come home. But Wilder and Fury is a pimple compared to Joshua and Fury. Oh, I agree. It, it, it's, but I'm just saying that compared to Joshua, with, with everything there that I just described, forget you're going to need a bigger boat. If there was a way to um, 
get him to step aside and like maybe they can work a deal where Wilder's guaranteed the winner of that fight and contract get, and get Pavetkin contract. to step aside and let's just make the fight because we've already seen what happens when Anthony Joshua gets upset by Ruiz if ever there was a fight to make this is to it. your point Ken to your point that forget about contract if, if it's big enough yeah as big as I think it is you can always find a way around contracts. No, you can exactly. always find a way. Pay him to step a, aside, right? You can always find a way around, you know, uh, 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 automatic uh, rematch clause. You know, like Don King, I said this earlier, you know, it's not a good thing, but Don King used to say, when he broke contracts, he used to say, when's the last time you saw a contract get in the ring? <laughs> <laughs>